What's happening, y'all? It's LP TV here, and we're gonna talk about uh, uh, it's kind of a Roy Lee versus Yellow BZ slash Mo Three versus Yellow BZ, and you might be like, man, that's not the G Herbo thing, bro. Was talking about, and yeah, I know, but this is just a little bit more interesting to me, so I'm gonna get back to the G Herbo thing next. Uh, but right now we'll do yellow BZ versus Mo3 and I realize my camera's over here and I'm not looking into that I'm actually looking at the screen so pay me no mind but basically how this all started Mo3 keep putting on down but everybody said Mo3 ain't no down but he but everybody said something about Pimp C nope okay then that's what I'm saying leave my nigga alone man this crap Pimp C ain't from Houston He's from Port Arthur. Port Arthur pouring a bitch from, uh, from Houston. <laughs> that shit pouring a bitch. I bet you if, he dri if I drive, if, if somebody drive from Houston to Port Arthur and I drive from McKinney to North Dallas, I bet y'all make it to North Dallas first. So leave my nigga alone, man. This is true shit, man. Man, come on, man. They fuck. Come on, man. But I say, man, I know four or five niggas that ain't from their hood in Dallas. But the thing, why they from Dallas, what, where they from, where they from right now? Because of the money. <laughs> bitch, come on, ho, you, you from America, you from Oak Cliff, America. Bitch, come fuck with us, ho. <laughs> Till you come on up so we can rob you. <laughs> Cause you ain't really from over here, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, come on, man. You niggas, you niggas fucking with Mo3 too much, my nigga. He told me. Ain't no names when you made this comment. Yeah. About the Oak Cliff America. <laughs> but you know, we kind of, you know, everybody kind of had their little feelings about what you talking about when you said that. Yeah. I'm, first of all, I want to ask you, what did you talk about Yellow Bees when you said that? Yeah. Okay. Okay. He ain't even trying to hide. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. okay. So, when you were saying what you were saying, okay, that's your, that's your, I'm going to say that's your opinion. Yeah. And you know, we kind of, I kind of feel you talking about him, you know, a couple more people kind of, you know, kind of with saying shit. So, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, you have to up, that's my boy, bro, and everything, yeah, you know, that's yeah, my boy. Yeah. Like, I'm going to just clear this up as far as, you, 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 you kind of on the outside looking in when you say what you said because, it, it, you know, you probably look, you probably heard what happened, uh -huh. but not knowing what happened. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I'm around. You know I'm in the You know I'm in these clips. You know yeah, I'm in these I mean, video shoots. Yeah, but I'm saying like if you if you wasn't there when 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 okay, see I I wasn't even there when it, when the shit happened in the club. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? But there was other incidents that happened around in the neighborhood. But you know, you know on this song when you ever say uh if a nigga robbed me, ask me did I shoot something. Mm -hmm. You know we ain't gonna speak on all that either because you know it's it's it's, it's legal matters involved. But shit happens. You know what I'm saying? To people. To work. You know, if coming up, just like with Mo3, he coming up and now he got all these people hating, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. When you coming up, you're gonna have haters, you're gonna have this, you're gonna have that, you're gonna have people that try you, you're gonna have people that do all that. Yeah. But what made you say what you said in that interview about you? Because that was the tie-in of Tupac, with Tupac from, and what Biggie from. Why you just ain't even with Mo3? Because you was Mo3, for example, then you just went, Shot the whole old kill thing for no, yeah. no reason. Because he's yelling out from O'Clip. Says who? Yeah, so, so where is he from? Like, let's, let's go. <laughs> now, now, I want to know where he's from. Huh? Yeah, I got yeah. you. <laughs> where where you going to go to Wikipedia? Yeah, 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 I ain't go to no schools in O'Clip. Oh. That's, I mean, yeah. That's yeah. not O'Clip from America. You know how many high schools in O'Clip? That's about seven, eight. He ain't go to no. He ain't go to no. I can't say where he went either. I don't know. <laughs> nah, but I, I don't big, know. That's a big, that's a big, that's a big thing. But as long as I've been graduated doing, from Lancaster, you ain't go to no elementary, no middle school. Either. But, 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 okay, even, even with that saying, okay, so say, say yellow knife from Oakland, say you're not. And that's why I was signed in into the Mo3 thing, that's why I was going that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so what's the Mo3 went to Lake Island. Went, went to Lake Island. Island. Went to Lake Island. Island. Yeah, I did. A long time ago. Uh, we're gonna start off with a fairy tale, I guess. Look, a long time ago, there was two sets of groups of people in the club. There was one group of Roy Lee, who was a comedian, a very great comedian, funny as hell. He did a lot of, he was more of an underground, like a, a DC Young Fly. Actually, he looked up to DC Young Fly. He was more of a DC Young Fly type. And uh, it was funny, he was just funny as hell. But basically, uh, a long time ago, he went to the club and uh, he saw a group, a rapper's group. Uh, and his, like I wouldn't say a group but like it was like a rapper in his entourage per se and he went to go speak to the rapper
and then I ended up being 18 people where Lee only had uh, his cousin, his girl, and then his cousin girl there as well. And uh, I, they just did what they can for the night or whatever. As soon as the night ended, after it, it ended with Roy Lee getting beat up, Roy Lee wanted to fight. So basically, Roy Lee tried to set up a situation where they had like a, a, a boxing match. He felt as though it was fair, which it would be. Like if you, if you were to sneak me, whatever, and I ask you to fight, why do you have a problem fighting me? You snuck me, so you shouldn't have no issue with that. That don't even make sense. Well, basically... It proceeds on with like multiple interviews go across of Roy Lee making it very clear. Roy Lee was making plenty of videos making it very clear that he felt as though uh, Yellow Beezy was pussy for better like for lack of better choice of words. You mentioned yeah, and it carried over to another uh, interview you had <laughs> at the radio station yeah. Uh, and then there was an altercation yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> With Yellow Bees. <laughs> yeah, the Glock. y'all had a fight. Yeah, no, nah, we ain't have a fight. So y'all just pulled some Soldier Boy and Chris Brown shit nah, over there. Nah, bro, we, we, he swung at me. I blocked the shit because I seen that my peripheral, yo. <laughs> but yo, whatever you call that shit, I pulled that bitch out my goddamn. Yeah, I seen that bitch out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. One, two, three, four. Like, so did you, uh, did you get ran one, out? Two. So what happened? Did you get ran out the club? Like, what happened? No, nah, they wanted their body, the bodyguard grabbed me, and then he pushed me, he was trying to take me out, and one of they, his partners, whoever Yellow Beast with, heavy-handed ass nigga, you know what I'm saying, he hit me in the back of my head, you know what I'm saying, I had a Cuban link chain, he, they snatched that, I wasn't tripping on the chain, but he snatched him in the back of my head, I'm just telling everybody to come out, come out, that's why, I, yeah. That's why I was telling them. So I mean, I understand if if we all go to the club and we are gonna ride for each other, but in, in, at one point in time, bitch, you better fight him, ho. Yeah. yeah. That's that's just that's just coming from side out. Yeah. That's just coming from you know that's just coming from the ghetto. Yeah. Yeah. We understand what's going on. You hit them. But you got to fight him one-on-one, because he's steady talking. He want to fight you one-on-one. Because if you're in the back of the crowd, you'd be like, I got to go on and fight this nigga one-on-one, man. Man, I ain't got shit, but come on with it, man. You know what I'm saying? But now I called him out to fight for $8,000. He talking about, nah, I don't want to fight. Well, why, where my leg going to come back at? I'm going to get mine, man. Yeah, at the fair, at the church, uh, uh, that, well, I'm gonna get mine, man. Hey, so, but if you won the fight, would nigga, gonna press charges though. I promise you, nigga, gonna press charges on me. Let me hit a nigga in with this elbow. Boom. Yeah. Since they kind of right because like. If Yellow Beezy were to fight him, it would have been like fighting a comedian. It's like, why are you bullying a comedian to an extent? But this comedian was thug. He was, you know what I'm saying? He had like people on his side, hood dudes and all that stuff. And he didn't want to turn it into no gang gang stuff or any of that stuff. He just wanted to, you know what I'm saying, have his one on ones with Yellow Beezy. You wanted a celebrity, uh. Ooh, that fight bitch would have been big. That bitch would have been funny. Y'all niggas pulled a Chris Brown and so That bitch would have been big. Y'all pulled a Chris Brown and so He Soulja like, nah, I don't want to fight. I would have I would have got him in that <laughs> ring, though. If we ain't able to three run, I mean 30 days, I would have been exercised. So you telling us you would have took the eight bags. Hey, I would have won, bro. <laughs> man, Ollie, man, I, my arm's too long. I would <laughs> Yeah, I would have. That's why he said, no, nah, I don't want to fight, man. Yeah, I would have won. If he would have slept you, though, what, what would you have done afterwards? Would you do I just would have been talking about it on stage. But if I would have beat him, he would have been dead. <laughs> All that powder XP you selling, you dead. <laughs> <coughs> the nigga money you using, oh, my bad. But the, you would have been dead. <laughs> you would have been dead. The nigga money you using, to floss in video, a nigga would've been like, oh no, you can't use my money no more. Cause I would've one, two, three, four. Yeah, boy, I would've been fighting hard in a bit. Yeah. But this ain't exposing TV, this real life street star. 
Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, cause, you know, we enjoy life smiling every day. Man. Yeah, you know. So, so what is the plan for enjoy life smile every day? What the fuck is you over here doing? Getting ready for the fight, $12,000. <laughs> Boy, you as dumb as you look. $12,000 trying to get ready for it. What fight you getting ready for, war? For the fight, trying to get this shit ain't out no, my Ain't chest. nobody gonna fight. He ain't gonna fight? No. So you telling me he's a grown man, he ain't gonna step up to the plate? I don't plate. know about none of that. I just know he haven't responded. I've been watching. Man. It's not a fight, you childish. Let's I stop. I'm not childish. <laughs> you sure. boy, come on. I'm ready to knock some What up. is you knocking out? I'm ready you... to knock him out. I'm ready to win. The winner, Roy Lee, the comedian. Knocked out the motherfucking rapper. Boy. Why I can't do that? Why I gotta squash something? And they the ones jump me. Why I gotta do that? Why? Okay, they jumped you, let it go. Why I gotta let, let something go? go? Why they saving him like they walked him to church last week? Why? Right. Fuck it, man. Fuck it. But then eventually, Roy Lee ends up being shy after making another comment about uh, that little beezy. And after he ends up, and he gets shot September 25th, you know what I'm saying, in front of a comedy place. Not a comedy place, but like he was somewhere getting paid for a show, and he ends up getting shot with his son inside the car. Some shit. And you and Yellow Beezy should be squashed. No, he, no, I need that boxing match. But if y'all got that out but, the way, then damn, if you cool. got some, if you swung at me like that at the club, you might got some in the, in the ring. I'm a comedian. I know how to fight. I was writing hot checks and doing all kinds of shit before I started being a comedian, but. Uh, if I got you in the ring, your career is over. But come on, then let's. You know how many people would have came to that motherfucker? Yeah, Real yeah. life street stars carrying that motherfucker and looking. Man, come on, man. You better not lose that one. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he's scared of. Let me tell my. Just see him when you see him. Nah, y'all gonna be deeper than me. I don't go number four deep to the club. I don't go number five deep to the club. Y'all gonna be seven cars deep, man. You know what I'm saying? This real shit. But if I if we, if we get in the ring and I got so I got some from the shoulders, I went to Pearl C, the dangerous middle school in Dallas. I had to, <laughs> you know, what I'm saying? I had to block. And I fuck with three to the four, Kyle Willen City, and all that over there. You know what I'm saying? So I seen them young niggas. <laughs> so that'd be good for the people. The people go, everybody in here gonna pay twenty dollars. We can split the dough. We get five or eight thousand dollars. Squash it. Yeah. You, you hit me because I told you you went from Oak Cliff. I ain't, I ain't said nothing wrong. I ain't lying. You say you ain't go to no, you ain't go to Sog, Roosevelt, Kimball, Carter, Maceo. You ain't go to them school. I ain't lying. You gonna hit me, you gonna hit me in my face because I lied? That's like I tell a nigga I got commissary and I lied. Now you hit me. Is now there, is you there hit ever, me if I lie. Is there ever, uh, he got, uh, yeah, he got shot trying to, uh, Get a deposit for a show. Uh, he was with his son. He had a son with him. Mm. Uh, somebody walked up and shot him through the car. Oh, he was sitting in the car when it happened? With his son. With yeah. his son? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. When did you first hear about it that he got shot? Right then and there. I went to the hospital. Oh, okay. So as soon as it happened, I went to the hospital. You went to the hospital and seen him? Yeah. Was he, uh, I mean, was he in bad condition or was it looking good. like he was going to make it? Yeah, he was good. He, he was, was good? He was straight. He was good. And so then it just, things just went bad and he didn't make it? Yeah. Damn. How long was he in the hospital before, before he passed away? A couple of days. A couple of days? Yeah. He, oh. uh, he didn't, he didn't die in the hospital. He, uh. He got out the hospital. He got back on his feet, started moving around. He was back doing his shows and shit. You know, taking his medicine, got a blood clot. Died from a blood clot. Man, this nigga here so much of a gangster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, man, I'm doing all right, though. Yeah, yeah, I had, call, I, had, I had to call the laws, man. I got shot in the leg. I couldn't drive. <laughs> man, the laws was dark before you would have came. You would have got laws for any goddamn thing, man. Man, you don't fuck with the... I fuck with the law. They cooling them up at the donut shop and shit, man. Why, man? They talking about fuck the police, man. I fuck... Man,
man, I'm not finna get into it with that. I couldn't drive. If I would've called him, it would've took him 20, 30 minutes. Hell no, let me the ambulance, police, all the fall party shit, that's in the same bucket. All of them coming. It was an emergency. They took me to the emergency. They talking about fuck, boy, I, I know this nigga too much of a thug, man. Talking about what they doing 